Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, we're checking out the Sycamore from Lantern Manufacturing. The Sycamore is a distortion pedal. It's a pretty straightforward interface, but it is very versatile within its feature set. So let's go ahead and jump into the controls. On the bottom left here, we have our volume control. Now this lets us control how loud or quiet the pedal is. So if we want quieter sounds, we can turn it down. If we want louder sounds, we can turn it up. So here is my clean signal. And here's the Sycamore. Now next to the volume control is the distortion control. This lets us set how much distortion we want to introduce into our signal. Now one cool thing about the Sycamore is that we can use it more of an EQ pedal with the extra EQ controls, which we'll get into here in a second, by lowering the distortion control all the way down and then maxing out our volume. This gives us a really clean signal. And then from here, we can turn that distortion control up and get as much gain as we want. This brings us to our EQ section, which is made up of controls for bass, middle, and treble. Now, each of these controls is an active EQ band, which means in the middle, at noon, we're not boosting or cutting each of these frequencies. From here, we can choose to boost or cut any of these frequencies just by turning them up or down. So if we want to cut out a frequency, let's say, let's take our bass control for, for example, if we think there's a little bit too much bass in the signal, we can turn that bass control down past noon. And we can also choose to boost the bass frequency by turning it up past noon. So here is at minimum. That's cutting as much bass out as we can. Let's go up to the flat response again. That is flat response right there. So let's go ahead and boost it.
That's a ton of boost and cut on each of these bands. Let's go ahead and set the bass back to noon. And then we're gonna hear how the middle control affects the sound. So here's that flat response again. Let's go ahead and cut all the middle out. Now let's go the other way and boost the mid-range. Now let's go ahead and see how the treble control affects our sound. We'll hit a chord and then strip all of the treble out, cut all the treble out by turning the treble knob down past it. And then the power of this EQ section is when we blend all of those together. So let's go ahead and set the treble up to about 75%, get a little bit of articulation on the top end there. We're gonna push the mid up just a tiny bit above flat response. And then let's go ahead and crank the bass also up to like 75%. Hear how that sounds. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of go the opposite way where we're going to turn the bass and the treble down a little bit and accent that mid-range to get a really mid-focus sound. Now we have my Fender Standard Jazz Bass plugged into the Sycamore going into the same amp, same settings. Here's the clean sound. Let's go ahead and hear how the Sycamore sounds with pretty much all knobs at noon. It sounds pretty good right there, honestly, but let's go ahead and turn the distortion down a tiny bit to get a little bit more clarity. Yeah. 
And then let's go ahead and turn the treble up to get a little bit more articulation and aggression on the top end. Totally digging that. Let's go ahead and see how the mid-range affects the sound. I'm thinking I'm gonna boost the mid-range a little bit. That's a really aggressive bass sound and I dig it, but let's go ahead and add in some more low end to see how that bass control really fills out the sound. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Sycamore from Lantern Manufacturing. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this pedal. And, you know, do you like distortion pedals? Do you like overdrives more? Or are you more of a fuzz pedal person? Let me know that in the comments below. I want to send a huge thank you to these folks right over here, my executive producers from my Patreon page. Your support means the world to me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Thank you for watching this also, and if you would like to help support the channel or find out different ways you can support, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Patreon page. Thank you for watching, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe, hope you're taking care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video.